humans, today I'll be showing you how to make your own produce bags. First, start accumulating a bunch of old t-shirts or material that you won't be using anymore. You will need t-shirt, scissors, some shoelace or any cord that you have at home, and a sewing machine. Cut from the armpit all the way to the other side. Put your t-shirt inside out and sew together the bottom opening. Now that you've sewed the other end, you'll have an opening right here. Keep your t-shirt inside out and make a little pleat and you're going to have a pleat like this all around. I attached pins so that it would stay folded properly all along while I sew. And as you can see, I want you to sew on the edge here so that we have room in the middle to put the cord in. When you are sewing, you want to leave a little hole so that we can put our shoelace in. I attached a safety pin to the shoelace so that it's easier for us to get in. For this one, I just took the shoelace and wrapped it through all the holes. And you see, it makes a lovely little bag. These kind of shirts are the best because usually when you're putting your produce in, you want to be able to see what's inside, especially the cashiers. So if you can find shirts that are like this, it's always more ideal. For this shirt, it's the easiest. You don't have to cut anything off. All you have to do is just sew the bottom and then you use the top as the handles. But what I'm going to do is sew this random piece of fabric I have to the bottom so that I can make it longer and make it look kind of funky and then just sew the bottom here. So it's the same concept, I'm just adding more length. I flip both pieces inside out and I'm just taking both ends and pinning them together. Now that we sew them together, we are going to sew the ends together but make sure it's inside out. And voila! You have your own produce bag. So my friends, I did a few little changes to some of the bags. This one, remember how it used to be kind of like a tote bag looking style? I didn't really like the look because I found it looked too much like a t-shirt. So I just used the other method and folded the top, put some strings. And for these strings, I didn't have any more shoelace so I just took some of the old t-shirt parts and made a nice string like so. And for this one, the top was kind of not that neat and I thought that it would rip so I just folded it like the other ones to sew it so that it's more sturdy. I hope that you know how to use a sewing machine or this was pretty easy. If not, you can definitely do it by hand, it's just not going to be as neat or as sturdy I would say. But it is doable, I have done it in the past. Leave me any comments below if you enjoyed this or if these are sort of things that you would like in the future for me to do. If you do end up making these, you can send me pictures on Instagram, Twitter or Snapchat and I'd love to see them, to see your little creations because you can make them look really cool and have your own personalized produce bags and also not hurt the planet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like and subscribe so I know you like these kind of videos. Love and peaches everybody and have a groovy life. Let's hit the kombucha day.